Hey, everybody. This is Opinionated Me. I'm Ty. We're sitting here um, in our first chat room with some of my friends. We got Dom and we got What's Your IG on the line. And today we're going to talk about our predictions for the upcoming BET Awards. I decided to do this chat because we always discuss this amongst our group. And I wanted to get it on video for receipt because I'm not going to say like names or nothing but there's two people outside of me that like to lie about who they predict <clears throat> so y'all can do the man first we're going to talk about album of the year the nominees are after hours the weekend the baby blame it on baby megan v stallion good news jasmine sullivan hotels nas king's disease and chloe and holly ungodly hour so let's talk about it who we got So who I think should win is Jasmine Sullivan Hotels. I think that was a really good R&B album. I think Jasmine Sullivan really did good for R&B this year. I think she definitely gets snugged a lot of places. And I think we should award her at an award show like the BET Awards because other award shows might not give her her flowers. That's who I think should win. Now, who I think will win? I can see Chloe and Halle winning. And I'm not mad at that. That was wow. a good album. I can see Chloe and Halle winning. I'm surprised. I would love for Chloe and Halle to win, um, but I don't think Beyonce is going to submit uh, her money to get them to win. Wow! Um, think, wait, wait, wait. Kidding. Are, you, are, are you saying that Beyonce bought? Hmm. It's a joke. My uh, iPhone fell out. It's a, <laughs> uh, no, but I actually think Megan Thee Stallion is actually going to win that one. Um, I think the oh, BET yeah. would really like her. Um, and I think Megan has had a standout year. I would want Chloe and Halle to win myself, but I believe that they're going to give it to Megan. Album of the year, I don't see Chloe and Halle pulling that off. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it. And I, I think it's a good... You're right, Beyonce might not have submitted that. Is Beyonce attending? Because if not... I highly like doubt it because I don't think she's really nominated like that. Um, I'm thinking... Oh, got I think it's going... The person that should win will win. I think it's going to be Jasmine Sullivan. Um, only was reason, that, huh? Was that an album? Thought it was an EP. But didn't didn't her win a uh, Grammy for an EP? So I, why do you think? What go on with Jasmine? Because I have a couple follow up questions. Well, because Jasmine, it's like in the it's in the water, right? So Jasmine has been the most consistent this year with her appearances and work with BT. So like she's done like all the little specials, the Easter special, the um, Black Music uh, Awards. Like they keep calling her to do pick up your feelings. Um, that is I, true. She has performed. Yeah, I want to say she may even perform this year, and I feel like if she performs, it's going to be like in the bag for her. I think that they're going to definitely give her flowers. Like her album has really stood out out of the list of things. Like everybody else, like. The baby, I don't know why he's there. Only because Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, I mean, but if you look at it, blame it on baby, that's one with Rockstar, right? Yeah, this one with Rockstar, that which came was number out, one like, for like seven weeks, number one debut know how album. Many, I, but I don't even it came know out how during many, the pandemic. Right, but it came out like last March or something. So that should have been like last year's thing. They performed Rockstar last year at the BET Awards. So I don't even know how I made the cutoff. It came out last April. And the oh, BET was okay. like last June. Yeah, it came out last April. So I, I, feel like you're bark- I feel like you're barking up the wrong tree. Why is Nas here? Well, I mean, Nas Wait a minute. Nas just won a Grammy. First and Nas is a legend. That and that album was actually pretty solid. It was a- For big- album of the year? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You've played-, you played it yourself? I played it myself, yes. So nobody yeah. has the weekend winning? No, it's not. This is a Black people show. Now, have yeah. we been talking about white people? Then yeah, maybe. Is the weekend not a man of color? He is a man of color, but at we'll, the get, we'll, time, get, we'll get his, to him in other nominees. His music doesn't give you man of color. It doesn't stand up. And then you got people like Chloe and Halle, like they had a moment last year. They had an album that was solid, but it wasn't album of the year quality for me. Like they had really some really good songs on there, but in retrospect, looking back at it, it's kind of for me, the songs like kind of like blur together like they're kind of like the standout track good together you're saying you say what sonically they sound good together a cohesive album that's what you mean they and wow go ahead i I mean 
somewhat. See, I would say somewhat it does. But like that song with Sway Lee, it didn't fit the it didn't fit the rest of the album. Um, and then like they picked totally like the wrong singles. Instead of that Do It remix, it should have definitely been like Busy Boy or something like that. Like they didn't really give you or work the full album. They kind of pulled a Doja Cat and they got one good song and kind of stuck with it. And then kind of like that's not Ooh. wait that streets right there. <laughs> Doja Cat had a couple singles from her album, but yeah. again, what which one did she perform every time during the pandemic? Fifty. She does medleys. She does medleys. Oh, okay. So overall, I said Megan. I you said see. ungodly hour. I'm sticking with Jasmine. Okay. All different. We'll see. We'll see. Hope you've been taking notes. Huh. We got the video footage. All right. So next we have best collaboration. We have Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion, WAP. I'm set. The Baby featuring Roddy Rich, Rockstar. DJ Khaled featuring Drake, Pop Star. Jack Harlow featuring The Baby, Tory Lanez, and Lil Wayne, What's Poppin' Remix. Megan Thee Stallion featuring The Baby, Cry Baby. And Pop Smoke featuring Lil Baby and The Baby uh, for the night. I'll got? go ahead and get one up. There's only one, there's only really one song here. Wow. Cardi B making the sound. It's that's it. That's the number one. That's that's it. Literally, they're talking about this. Your politicians are having conversations about it. Your mother, your father, they're playing this at weddings, funerals. <laughs> this is weddings. literally, this is literally the song. I've been to a it's wedding a, or two lately, and I hear <laughs> WAP play. They just play WAP at the wedding. Why, why do you think? Why do you think they got married? I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring. But no, it's literally one of the biggest songs. It was very controversial. It was a big song. I have to give credit to the ladies for bringing, the really being the ones who brought back female rap collaborations. Okay. Um, yeah. After I'm that, gonna also like, I'm I'm gonna stand as well. I'm gonna um I'm gonna stand WAP. I'm going to say there are only two songs in this category for me that I think should win or even have potential to win. That's going to be WAP and Rockstar. Um, I'm not going to just look over Rockstar for winning. I wouldn't be surprised if Rockstar won because I think WAP will win in other areas. And I don't think they're just going to storm the BET Awards. So for this one, I'm going to go with Rockstar. I'm going to go with the Baby and Roddy Rich for best collaboration. For me, I can't. I narrowed it down to two. And I'm going to go with Rockstar. And then for the night, like Pop Smoke. I, I heard your I heard your your cry for help on WAP, but although cry for help. right, oh. although Pop Smoke didn't go number one, he actually outcharted WAP. It stayed on the charts like 10, 15 weeks longer, and then I think they're gonna well play WAP into was getting put at radio stations, and it was really again we said it was controversial, so that's kind of. For all right, night, I, I they, see. They they're going. They can. You can always throw in like the little sympathies that they give dead people as well. So I think that's going to be able to play up a little bit. Like he's dead. Got Lil Baby and the Baby on there. It was a big song at radio. It was successful on the charts. It was a hit. Like I don't see I'm how. Gonna, that I'm gonna. I'm gonna move past that. Um, I, I'd so say the category. Uh -huh. I have Rockstar, Curtis. Uh, what's your IG? You have WAP. Um, Tyrone, you have Rockstar. Okay, we're locked in for that. What's next? All right. We have Best Female R&B Pop Artist. Beyonce, Her, Jasmine Sullivan, Janae Ayuko. Ayuko. Janae Ayuko. Okay, Her. And then um, Summer Walker and SZA. What's Summer Walker doing here? Praying. Be uh, Summer Walker is where she belongs. She deserves to be nominated amongst those ladies. She was pregnant all last year. What does that this, matter? This it's, a, it's a rollover only, because of the pandemic. The only thing that would qualify Summer Walker would be that EP she put out that everybody forgot about. I think it was good. I still listen. I listen today. Highly doubt it. No, I, I really did. I think Summer Walker is definitely talented. Now, do I think she needs to win? No. But I think she should definitely be in the conversation of females in that category. I know who I think should win and will win, and I think it's her. I could see it between her and Jasmine Sullivan. Actually, I think it's going to be her. In this category... Um, I would actually take that award that was that y'all gave Jasmine and give it to her here. This is where she she deserves it out of the nominees. Um, although I enjoyed a few of the songs her put out, there's still no album to speak of, so I have to give it to Jasmine who released. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Are we talking about Grammy winning, Oscar winning her? Grammy, Oscar, 
Just, I mean, what else do you I want? Mean, and the album, I mean, she might not have an album. She might not have an album. She's giving, she's giving us quality music. Damage is like one of the best R&B songs I've heard in a while. So I, love I, I need to give her a fly. Was on I loved her collaboration with Jasmine. I, I wouldn't mean, be mad at Jasmine one, but I think it's time to give. They both, they, I, I like both. I like both, but I, I would give it to her right here for best. Her has to give her flowers without putting out an album. It's time. So for me, hmm. I have to give it to Jasmine. I mean, the Jasmine, soul. That's fair. She has an album. The performances. Okay. I have um, I'm going to stick with her. I don't think that the, the body of work on this one I don't think it is what qualifies them. I think it's just anybody that put out music. Cause like, I think you could have put out a song and got nominated if like, yeah. like I don't think you had to have an album in order to be best female R&B. So I'm going to go with her. Yeah, her for me. It's, it's definitely gonna be Jasmine, but we can move on. Okay, so now we got best male R&B pop album. Here we go. We got Black, um, Anderson Pack, Chris Brown, Giveon, Tank, and The Weeknd. Okay, I just heard a couple that I like. You want, y'all want me to start? I'll start. So this is, you said it's um, best R&B slash pop male artist? Yes. Okay. Two artists that I really like, but only one should win the award. Really like Giveon, gonna put him in as a, in as a runner up because he really has been killing it. Um, love, 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 Heartbreak Anniversary. If you haven't heard it, you need to listen to it. You're missing out. But number one in this list, The Weeknd. Friday to Sunday. <laughs> you, you have you have to give it to the artists who released songs that continue to stay on Billboard, continue to dominate the charts, continue to, he dominated the Billboard Awards, to be honest, but he literally, he breathes pop. And that remix with Ariana Grande for Save Your Tears, the, the other nominees are gonna have to save theirs. He literally wow. is a, the pop R&B guy right now. You have to give him his credit. There's, there's nobody else in that category that is seeing him at the level he's at right now. Oh. Oh wow, that was a lot that you just said at the time. Okay. So for because it is RB slash pop, I'm gonna say that the weekend should win. Um, I think he had a great year. I don't personally love his album. I like older House of Balloons, The Weekend, but I, I would give him his, you know, what he deserves. He got snubbed at the Grammys. So I wouldn't be mad at him winning here. But I think Chris Brown will win because BC loves Chris Brown and he had a good year. Didn't go crazy. Go crazy did numbers. So, I too, um, I'm going to go with Chris Brown. And uh, that's only because fun fact. You know, I love a fun fact. Um, Chris Brown has won this category more than anyone else. Yeah, they like him. And then he's won it more than anyone else. But the weekend has only won one time and only showed up to the BT Awards one time in his career, and that was to do a duet with Felicia Keys. So I don't think that he's even going to show up. I don't think he's going to win. I don't think that they fuck with him and I don't think he really fucks with them. So I mean, I don't think that So is this a is this a pop what is this about? What is, what is it, what are the awards given based off of? Who they uh, like more and who's going to show up or I think it's going to be who's in the categories like this. I believe it would be who's going to who they know more. Like I think it's just like voters for the BT awards it's more so on who's getting the votes and the voters are like Radio personalities, bloggers. And oh, well, it's, if it's what, it, well, then no, and, wait a minute. Because, and if, if, if you're going to base it off of that, and we're just not going to give it to the weekend based off of that, I think Giveon deserves more than the week, more than Chris Brown. Giveon has put out better music, better quality music to me in this time period. Um, and I he's, a, but if he doesn't win here, he should win somewhere else. But I think he should win over Chris Brown. But I think, I just, I, I feel. It, if I had to put money on who I think will win, I think it will be Chris Brown. And you can't argue that Go Crazy wasn't it. So. The weekend deserves. But the weekend had a great year. He had a great year. He had a great year. Chris or Giveon because of who the people are that are doing the number, the win. The yeah. mm-hmm. We'll move on after I'm going, Chris. Who y'all got? I have I like lose, I, unfortunately I have Chris Brown winning here. Yeah, I mean, who's gonna win because of this, Chris? But I want to point out that for the should win, it should be the weekend or give yarn. But I would say the weekend. Okay, well, thank thanks for that. Um, <laughs> the next category is gonna be best new artist. Um, oh, I'm gonna mess this up. Koi Larae, Flo Millie, Giveon, 
Jack Harlow, Mulatto, and Pooh Shy. That's not her name. That's not, her name is Lotto now. Yeah, but everyone knows as Mulatto, so we'll we'll, we'll go with what we know. So who was the last nominee? Pooh Shy. Um, for me, he, he, he has a song I've I've been hearing um a lot. Like I'm like they play in the I don't go to clubs, but I've heard it like on the radio and stuff. Yeah, this one's gonna be a good one for me. This is gonna be one of the categories that I think I will catch my eye and like it's gonna hold my attention because this is a good race. The winning, I'd probably have to give it to Mulatto. Um, her or Jack Harlow. It's really hard for me to tell because Jack Harlow album. BT Awards, yes, God. Isn't he? He yeah, he's of the Caucasian persuasion. But with that, what's popping, Brandon? And then that song where he said five white boys and they are in sync. He had a couple good songs that actually caught my ear. This I show. thought that was the same song. No. And then he got that, that song with Chris Brown that's gonna uh, that's going to the charts right now too. That best friends. It. I like it. Okay, so, Give on is my answer. And I don't even really need to go into much detail here. I like the artists nominated. I think that Flo Millie is dope. I think that Lotto is dope. Pooh I, I don't really listen to him. Um, Jack Harlow, he's cool, but definitely give you on for me. Because of where we are, and it's the BT Awards, I believe Mulatto will win. I believe that Giveon should be the winner. Again, you should check out Heartbreak Anniversary and understand, or still your best, either one. The whole album. I won't, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Giveon actually won. Yeah, I think he's going to win. I think, I think he's going to win. Deserve. I think he's one of two men of color that have released a debut album this year that went gold. I think there's only two so far. Platinum Singles album. He put his two EPs together and it's an album. What in the hurt is going so on? So it's not an album, but he is EP, okay. <laughs> Don't he do put his two pieces together and make it. It made Don't it a mega. So yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I, it's a tough one for me. I I would say it's gonna be I, for me personally. I would lo- love to see Mulatto win. Um, I think Jack Harlow could take it, but I could also see Giveon. It's like a tie for a second, like runner up for me. I think it's a tight race. I'm locked in with Giveon. Tyrone, I'm not sure who you're saying you're you're locked in for. Oh, I'm locked in for Mulatto. The other two were like, I wouldn't be surprised if they won. Runner up. And your answer is who? I'm, I'm locked in for Mulatto, unfortunately. I just believe that's who wow, they're going to vote for. Wow, unfortunately. Because I just believe that's who they vote for. That's not who I think should win. I believe. I think it's going to be give you on. I think BT's going to get it right, and I think they're going to give him what he deserves. And I want to also acknowledge again that her name is Lotto. <laughs> The next category we have is best group. You have 21 Savage, 21 Savage and Metro Boomin, Chloe and Halle, Chris Brown and Young Thug, City Girls, Migos, and Silk Sonic. Migos? Mm-hmm. <laughs> best group. How many songs did they release? Wasn't one song? The te- they released. I think technically you could count two. Because that song, that horrible song they put out, and then the one on DJ Khaled's album. Yeah. I'm good. I'm 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 good on them. They're not even. I didn't even hear that name when you said that. Um, I like City Girls, but no, they're not gonna win. I do like them. Uh, I'm gonna go. I would be surprised if they gave the Chris Brown and Young Thug. I don't think they're gonna do that. I'm gonna go with Chloe and Halle. Wow. Let's go. We're gonna go Chloe and Halle. So Sonic is great, but. For one song, I'm even surprised they're nominated. I'm gonna go with Chloe Halley. Um, for me, I could literally there's it's a tight one for me again. I could see City Girls taking it, um, only because they've been, especially it's on crazy. the urban scene. <laughs> on the urban scene, they've just been consistent. Um, they've con- been like the remixes that they put out. I mean, they they're the one that made what's that song called? Throat Baby Jump. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Then you have um, Turculator, like they've been consistent. I would love to say Chris Brown and Young Thug, but- Would you would you love to say that? I would love to say it because I did enjoy- a You think they're deserving songs. to win? Deserving? No, deserving, okay. I would probably say 21 Savage and uh, Metro Boomin. 
because just I, from that they have an album. He had that album that went number where one. they Chloe and Halle performed their asses off throughout the pandemic. Beyonce like I mean, no tennis court. Their Beyonce tennis Beyonce tennis court that. was not safe. It does not matter. They performed their that asses said off. No, wow, this nigga legit they just said no tennis court album. was safe. They gave us a no tennis album. court was they safe. They gave us a different look. They have been working their asses off. They need to win this category for best group, Chloe and Halle. I'm locked in. But what do they give you besides do it? The, the album, album is good. And they the put out more singles. Good. The album was good. But I don't Ungodly think Hour got a video. Um, they had other singles from the video. Uh, forgive me. Didn't see it. Um, Only thing I know from Chris Brown and Young Thug was um, Go Crazy. Go Crazy. Go and crazy. then there was something about City Girls had a video. I, don't, I didn't hear that out much. Uh, City Girls. Their album, actually, I, I want to actually give a shout out to the City Girls because their album deserved a lot more than what people gave it. I'm a fan of most of song, most of the songs on the album. I love the singles. I think Jobs should have been done well on the charts. I think you know Talk should have Now that you're going to give them their shout out, I really I'm do. Laugh. I really do. I'm laughing because they're like two people for, like, of course, because they're a group, but they're like, for me, you now let me explain before you, you bust out. They're like a Nicki Minaj. And the fact that I prefer them on features rather than their own music. Like, How do you lock out? I, <laughs> I enjoy like Act Up, but when I heard their album, it was very underwhelming to me hearing them on other people's, like mm -hmm. them they hate. on people's songs. They hate even their first EP. Now, um, we're talking strictly off the last album. Okay, the last album, I like most songs. I think there's, I, I don't know how many songs on the album. I like every al every song until maybe the last two or three. And I love the singles. I think it was a great I album. I like the song with Lil Baby. I love that. That was um, Flute the Out. First, the first. Uh, Flute Out, that was a great song. Mm. Curtis, who you got? Who you got? Um, I don't feel like you give Stay Girls enough credit because I like Flute Out. I like Come Outside, Jobs. They have, they have several songs. Rio. Like Didn't like um, so I do like several songs from that album. I'm not giving it to them, but I think they deserve credit. Um, I'm also not giving it to Chris Brown because they don't deserve it for one song, one single. Um, so he had, he had a whole EP, album, EP, whatever you want to call it. I must have missed it. Um, but he had a song called what, City Girls didn't land. Um, wow, the girls who were on the tennis court. Um, Chloe and Halle gave so many great performances. They really worked the hell out of this album. Um, Grammy nominated girls. I loved every performance. Chloe was out there dancing her ass off. Hallie was holding down the harmony. It was really, really good. I loved the album. I can play it from almost front to back. There's only like maybe two or three songs. The one was Waylee, like you said. Um, but they they have a lot of really, really great songs. I can't wait for the next one, to be honest. Yeah, I, I too am going to go with Chloe and Hallie. Chloe and Hallie for me as well. Okay, okay. I can see City Girls. But I really think it will end up with 21 Savage and Metro Boomin. Okay, that's your answer. But um, next we have Best Female Hip Hop Artist. We have Cardi B, Koi LeRae, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto, and Sweet. Sweetie! I'll start this. So here's the thing. Um, I believe who deserves this is actually Doja Cat. But I believe they're gonna give it to Megan Thee Stallion. The reason I believe that Doja deserves, Doja has performed her ass off. She has really um, escalated her performances and she made Say So Last, she made Streets. Um, she made several songs off of this album last for years. Um, I appreciate her artistry and I think she deserves for the BT Awards, but I don't believe they're gonna give it to her because wasn't she in a tiny chat? Hmm. You know, the tiny, them little teen tiny chats to get you fucked up. That's a scandal. I don't know that uh, we can we can move on from that. Um, I don't want to put that against her, but so uh, Megan will win. You think Megan's gonna win? I, I believe Cardi actually deserves a a uh, nod, but I think this is this is Megan's year. It's time. She she's consuming. Um, Megan won last year, so it's like she it's time again. I think Megan is going to win. I think Megan should win. I think it is 
best hip hop, not best hip hop slash pop. I love Doja Cat. I think she's an amazing artist, but she, when it comes to hip hop, there's only one winner in this category for me. And Doja I like all the females. I like, okay, Doja's a good rapper, but she didn't, that's not a rap album that she put out. She rapped every single song. She raps on it, but Fergie rapped on a lot of songs on her album as well. Wow. And I think Doja Cat is a rapper. I think Doja Cat is a rapper, don't get me wrong, but for this cat, because I like Doja Cat, I really do. And I think she's very talented, but she's a rapper slash singer. And there's nothing wrong with that. But for, for the BET Awards, for best hip hop rapper or best hip hop female, I think it's Megan needs her flowers. I mean, she just won three Grammys. What I need. She just won three Grammys. She gave you a rap album. She's been consistently putting out music. It's been it's been a good year for Megan. I think she I think she's a, a good winner. Doja, I like Doja though. I do love Doja. Yeah, I think our, if they were going off artistic and creativity, there's only two girls to be named in this category, and that would be Doja Cat and Cardi B. For me, That's from the dope. time period, I would probably have to go with Cardi. And I'm only gonna say Cardi because she did WAP. She was. After right after WAP, she had up like Cardi had. She Cardi doesn't even have to do much to be that girl on the scene. Like Cardi legit shows up, and you mentioned Megan's Grammy, so I'm gonna go there. I mean, the Grammys weren't they were Beyonce's, and then the one that she got with Solo wasn't for music. For an artist to put out as much music as Megan Thee Stallion has put out, and none of her solo music got a nomination or got talked about. It goes to show, like, not even a solo feature. Like, a feature she didn't have her album out until the uh, yeah. top of the Grammy. She had an EP, but she did but a she lot had, of artists that she like. like Thirty-eight music, other songs like, that she rapped on. Or, she had um, the song with um, don't you know. the song she has, with Young not, Thug. She had the song with um. Those came out too late, and those were those just like what She like, had a Bob whole EP that, that came out. Did she not? She won three Grammys. For you to discredit her for whatever reason of personal taste. I mean, that's fine, but she won the three oh, Grammys and she, she won Best New Artist. It's time for her to get her. She will win this. You have, uh, Curtis, you said you have Doja Cat. Um, Tyrone, you said you have Cardi B. I have Megan, so that'd be a win for me. Ooh. So then we have Best Male Hip Hop Artist. We have The Baby, Drake, J. Cole, Jack Harlow, Lil Baby, and Pop Smoke. I believe they're gonna give it to Pop Smoke because he's not alive, but I believe okay. Drake deserves. Drake deserves. That's that's the end of the conversation. You can put a period on that and just move no, on to the next guy. Drake doesn't not. deserve it actually because Drake Drake was does. a horrible song. Pop Star wasn't great. His three songs that he put out on that little thing. Are you talking about hits? I'm sorry, what? Yo, we're talking about hits, and I was I can thoroughly say I was not impressed by anything that Drake's done. If anything, Drake wraps his they, ass should, up. they would call J. Cole or, you know me, I'm going to say Lil Baby. J. Cole didn't make the cutoff, but we'll we'll get him in next year, so. But it's not about the music. It's not like they're submitting him for music. J. Cole's music, I mean, J. Cole as an artist is a better, is about who's a better male hip-hop artist. J. J. Cole but I thought we were basing it off the music of the last year, of the last BT Wars to now. I mean, you you could do that. But J. Yeah, Cole, yeah, it's he put out two BT songs. Hip -hop. It's, it's the BT Awards. Was, it's the was music. It two? And did but how does two songs out? win versus? Okay, I'll I'll let you finish and tell us who you who you have winning. I'm going. Oh, I'm going with Lil Baby. Okay, so I too am going to go with uh, Lil Baby. I'm going to go with Lil Baby as well. I think that he actually deserves to win. I think his album was good. I think the bigger picture was dope for what he did. I think he's a good rapper. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he won. I think he won Best New Artist. I don't know if that was last year or the year before. Um, so BC does like him. He's had a good run. He doesn't really win a lot of awards other places. So I think this would be his wow. moment to get his awards and shine. I think mm. that, no, and I think it's not, a lot of artists don't get what they deserve at other award shows. So I think he would definitely win. Uh, I think J. Cole is the best rapper in this category. And I think that his album that was just released is amazing. So next year, him, but I can't give it some based off of two songs. Drake. Who do you what's the next category? Drake should definitely win it. And I'm surprised you guys can't see the bigger. I picture. like Drake. I like Drake. Drake. <laughs> I like Drake. I like Drake. But if, if we're gonna keep it honest, if we're gonna keep it honest, I think that Lil Baby deserves over Drake. And I think Lil Baby will win over Drake. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time for, I don't know who's, Lil I don't Baby. know the who's. And another thing, I, I like really Drake think Lil Baby's going to get his flowers more so because 
out of everybody we named, I could see little baby being the one that's going to take the stage, and that kind of gives you a little more leverage over other people when you're that. in person. Him and Lil I can see the baby take. I can see the baby taking the stage as well. Is, is he and, he is, and he is the most and he is the most nominated. He, he is the most. The, he's going to shoot his way into. He the is the most. Show. He is the most nominated award, uh, nominee along with Megan Thee Stallion. I think we didn't uh, mention that. I didn't, I didn't but they know. are the most nominated. Okay. Well, well, you can be the most nominated and be the one that walks home with none. Wasn't Rihanna that the problem at the Grammys? She wasn't the, she oh. wasn't the most nominated. She wasn't the most nominated. She wasn't the most nominated. So the next category is BET Her Award. Didn't Brandy okay. just win that? Win? No, she's never won a BET Award. Um, wow. So I don't think I don't think that was necessary. The nominations are <laughs> Alicia Keys featuring Khalid. So done. Brandy featuring Chance the Rapper, Baby Mama. How that got there? Who put that in there? Oh. This is where it uh, belongs. Bree Steve, Stev, Stevez, Anti Queen, Chloe and Halle, Baby Girl, SZA, Good Days, and Sierra featuring Esther Dean, Rooted. <laughs> Sierra's actually nominated. So yeah, see this nominated. seems random. This seems random. I'm not exactly sure what I should be basing this off of. I enjoyed V7. Baby Mama is not my favorite song from the album, but I like that that uh, Brandy. I like V7. I think that V7 was dope. I like that Brandy is nominated here, but I don't see her winning. I think Good Days by SZA is the best song nominated here. And it Maybe was a hit, health. but I don't think SZA is going to win either. Um, I have a. I've been saying Chloe and Halle like twice. I don't want to. I can't. I don't. They're gonna rack up at the BC. Um, I think for that they could give it to Brent. Uh, I'm gonna go with Scissor Good Days. I'm gonna go with Scissor Good Days. I'm gonna. Have, I'm. I'm again gonna have to slide right onto onto the tennis court. Um, it has to be Chloe and Halle here. They're the only ones that are even eligible for this whatever award. Um, it seems like a what, by what by what by what qualification are the other songs? Could, could be honest, it seems like a throwaway award that they would just give to like Brandy or somebody. So I could actually see Brandy winning here just out of the randomness of the award. Throwing award, random. That's what you're saying. They don't even televise it. Okay, they don't televise a lot of urban awards at the Grammys. Does that mean they're not important? BT is the urban awards. We can move on. Um, for me, I would probably say I think Alicia Keys deserves it, but I, I also think SZA is going to take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. The right answer, SZA. I'm not sure about the Alicia Keys comment. I wouldn't be surprised I'm if Sierra actually took it either, though. It's very pro-Black. <sighs> she's rooted. Next, we've got Viewers' Choice Awards. Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion, WAP. Chris Brown and Young Thug, Go Crazy. The Baby featuring Roddy Rich, Rockstar. DJ Khaled featuring Drake, Pop Star. Drake featuring Lil Durk, Laugh Now, Cry Later. Lil Baby, The Bigger Picture. Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce, Savage Remix. And Silk Sonic, Leave the Door Open. A strong category. That's a lot of songs. For and me, it is strong. Brown is going to be wild. Viewers Choice Award I believe is fan voted, and they have the strong. She Cardi B has the stronger online fan base than everyone else. And she's not in any of because you know there's a lot of artists that are in multiple songs like Drake. Um, so I think you're right. Cardi should pull this one out again. Um, so it should be at least two for Carter. D. Um, I believe she's got it. Um, I'm gonna go with Cardi. I mean, it it is the moment. Um, it's hard to it's hard to miss a song so big. It's hard to miss a song that impacted so many lives. I mean, I think you guys were there when <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys were there when the song came out and it was just like the video together with the song. I remember where I was. I was at your place. Um, and I remember I, that. It was a moment. It was definitely a moment. Definitely. A moment most pleasing to my career. We had to literally replay it again and yeah, again. it was definitely I a moment. I played that deserves. video seven times time the first day. It deserves. It deserves. Mm -hmm. But while it deserves, Savage Remix also deserves. I don't care how old it is. It also deserves. I love that Megan is here twice. I love that for her. 
Um, so I think that it's her versus herself, um, honestly and truly. So, but I'm gonna go with WAP here. I think notoriously Chris Brown is the winner here. He usually he's won the most. The most he used something. to, but that was again. That's like I said, I think this is a fan voted award, and that's when Team Breezy yeah. was coming out strong. It should be WAP. I'm gonna go with WAP. Party. It should be WAP or Savage, but it's WAP for me. Cardi feature. Cardi feature and Megan Thee Stallion. And then we have we have video of the year. Cardi B up. Cardi B feature Megan Thee Stallion WAP. Chloe and Halle, do it. Chris Brown and Young Thug, go crazy. Drake featuring Lil Dirt, laugh now, cry later. And Silk Sonic, leave the door open. This is what I'm going to say about this one. The budgets are different. If it's fan voted, I think Cardi's going to lose. Because if you can only choose one and she splits her votes with two videos, WAP and up, I think that would hurt her more. Um, and then I would think that video of the year, it would probably go to Chris Brown. Overdo it, laugh now, cry later, and leave the door open. If Cardi, if it's fan voted, then Cardi would split her vote and it would come down hard on her. But if it's not, then hands down WAP for me. Okay. For me, you could have really stopped after WAP. I think that there is no competition. WAP is going to win. It should win. The other videos were cool, but WAP, I, Up was good too. So Cardi makes good videos. I get what you're saying about her going against herself, but WAP is the clear winner here for a lot of reasons. You have the two top female rappers in a video together. How many times did we get that? Groundbreaking, history, we love it. It's the winner for me, it's WAP. I mean, they literally, how many girls go to the Wonka Chocolate Factory? It just, yeah. it just doesn't happen. It's not, it's not every day. The video was about female empowerment, female support. Um, to be honest, it's hard to look past such a monumental video. I keep having to impress upon you what a big moment this has been. And it still is. To we're, we're just talking about a moment. We're talking about a year. Moments are short periods of time. It lasted throughout the entire year. That just before we got the Grammys, it still was talking about by politicians that we have real shit going on in the world. And this is what you're, this is what Republicans want to talk about. Everyone's mad about it. Um, I believe it, it was groundbreaking. It was a moment. It was more I than mean, just I'm a couple I, I agree. I think the video yeah. was. Maxine Waters loved the video. I mean, the song, what, what, the what video, else do we need? The video for me, I'm not going to say it's of the same quality, but the release and buzz up around it was equivalent to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Like it was everywhere. Everybody had to see it. Everybody wanted to talk about it. The video, oh, wow. like it was, it was. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not gonna say I like. It I mean, because when Thriller came out, of course, I'm the oldest, so I was. I was not born. I, I, would, I, don't, I don't. I don't think I was I, born. When Thriller came out, everybody like when the next day, everybody did you see Thriller? Did you see Thriller? You checked out Thriller. Thriller, thriller, thriller. And that's how it was when WAP came out. It was all over the radio and everybody, did y'all see that video? If you ain't seen that video, you need to go see it. Like, so yeah, if it's, like I said, I think that she runs the risk of like slashing her votes in half if it's fan voted. But if it's not, then WAP is, has to be a clear winner. There's no, there's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. So I'm locked in with WAP. Same. All right, y'all, we want to thank you for tuning in for the first chat, the Opinionated Me chat. We got Dom and Curtis. What's your IG? Follow them on the social medias. They're right there on the screen. And Mine is in, for right. our next one. I all right, and we're going to actually uh, let you guys know, and we're going to come back once I get the most wins. I hope you all have tallied up who we have winning and not There's winning. There's going to be a lot of L's down and there. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. A lot of so. L's. Mm-hmm.